Hello guys, today I want to talk about upcoming change in Laravel 10 which should be released in February 2023 and more and more people started talking about a feature that Nuno Maduro is working on is adding native types and other things into the core of the framework. So example, instead of these annotations, it would directly pass user type here. Similar example below with the schedule type. And I want to explain why it is so important and why it is such a big deal with one example. So you would understand why so many people are celebrating that with 600 likes and more on Taylor's tweet and the GitHub pull request. Let me show you this issue on the Laravel framework, which was reported 21 days ago. There are quite a few issues reported every day. And one of those is this. If you pass user where null equals null update, Apparently, what Laravel framework does under the hood is actually this, meaning it will update every single user, every single record, basically ignoring where and putting the update for all the records in the database. Quite scary, right? Then there's some discussion about how to reproduce and this issue was actually closed, but the reason is important. So after the author explains more details about it, Tim McDonald, core member of the Laravel team, points out this. When you're doing where statement, so user where or model where, that where accepts closure, string, or array. It doesn't accept null. So if you pass null, you're kind of violating the rules here because where should not accept null. And in the framework, how it looks like. We have a where method in the Eloquent Builder, which looks like this column operator value and boolean. But the point here is getting back to the original topic of annotations. Currently in the framework, all those parameters are described as annotations, which is not strict. So PHP would not throw any errors or exceptions if any of those parameters have different types than they are expected here. If you pass integer instead of string here, nothing would happen or actually God knows what would happen, but PHP would not be strict with that. And this is exactly where we get that kind of a bug, which is more like a very edge case introduced by a person who wasn't strict with the types of parameters. But this is the point, getting back to the Nuno Maduro's tweet and this example, if you pass here something else than a user, then PHP would restrict that, throw an error and tell you to fix the parameter. In other words, what they're doing in Laravel 10 and what has been introduced slowly in PHP community since those types were introduced, from what I remember it was 7.4, and some of those types were introduced additionally, more types with PHP 8 and 8.1, and more and more people in the community are adopting that strictness. And this is exactly why it is important. In here, you tell PHP to protect your code from malicious behavior by other developers. Because in the future, God knows who will use that code. It may be yourself in the future, it may be other developers, or if you publish the code as open source, it may be whoever. And if they pass something inappropriate to the function, then you don't guarantee that it would not break. So this is my overall message to you. I do advise, strongly advise to use types here and return types. And also I'm glad that Laravel is adopting that across all of Laravel ecosystem tools. As Nuno is pointing out, if we scroll down the reply to his tweet, so Skeleton, Starter Kids, Breeze, Jetstream, Nova, Spark and more will also adopt this syntax. If you want to follow all the news about upcoming Laravel 10 or minor Laravel 9 versions, of course, subscribe to the channel and I will keep you informed. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.